Hi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure the ABB robot so that Machina can monitor its execution in real time. Machina can, by default, with a simple task, know when the actions that you have stream have executed, but by default, it cannot know anything that is happening in between them. In order to do that, we need to add some special setup because we need to add another program that is running in parallel to the main driver that can be reading for those positions and targets and, and joint values and stream them in real time to back to Machina, okay? So <clears throat> if you're here, you should have seen my previous videos where I explain how to connect manually to the physical robot, how to load a manual driver into the robot, and, um, and uh, how to set up Robot Studio, all right? So if we go to Robot Studio, what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to open my Flex Pendant driver, my Flex Pendant, sorry. And you can see that right now in my rapid file, there's, I have no file here, I have no driver here. So we're gonna start from like very scratch. And also, um, so what we're gonna do is um, I'm just going to go to Machina, all right? And because my robot, I'm going to assume, I'm, I'm going to dock this here on the side, all right? I'm going to assume that my robot is in manual mode so I cannot do all these things automatically. I'm gonna show you how to do all these things manually, all right? The first thing is, if like you saw in my previous videos, uh, we're gonna configure the driver before we download it. So it's ABB, the manager is going to be user because we're doing everything manually ourselves. Here, if you're using a physical robot, very likely you should have to, you have to put here the IP of the robot in the network that you are. If you're just communicating directly to the controller, then very likely that IP is going to be 192.168, no, sorry, error. One, yes, 192.168.125.1, one, all right? But because I'm doing it virtually, then I'm gonna keep this IP, which is the local host of my computer, all right? I'm not gonna change the port, and then I'm going to download these drivers, which I already had somewhere here downloaded. Um, yeah, so I downloaded it to my D drive and under Machina modules. And you can see that I have two programs downloaded right now. I have the main ABB driver and I have the ABB monitor. As you, we saw in the previous video, I'm just gonna use my virtual pendant. So I would put those files on a thumb drive, stick them on the flex pendant and load the main driver from the, from the, pen, from the thumb drive, okay? By doing load program, I would just navigate with the menu to my USB drive and choose ABB driver, okay? As I do that, my main task in my robot, TROB1, is loaded with the main driver that we need in order to do basic communication, okay? But in order to do monitoring in real time, what we have to do is we have to add another program that is gonna be in running in parallel with the main driver with the main driver, which is called the monitor, all right? And you can think of these two programs as two different threads, each one of them with its own execution cycle and each one of them doing its own thing. One of them takes care of communicating with our Machina interface. The other one takes care of like sending us information very often so that we know what's happening in real time, all right? So how are we going to do this? Well, we're going to do this by creating another task so the robot is going to have two tasks running in parallel. Again, you can think of this as threads. Um, and in order to do that, it is very important, like I explained in previous videos, it's very important that your robot has the capacity of doing multitasking. That is an option that you have to add extra when you buy your ABB robot. So in order to do this, first you have to know if the robot that you have um, is able of doing multitasking, okay? Um, I don't remember how to look that up. I'm just gonna do it real quick and then I'm coming back to the video. Give me a second. Yeah, piece of cake, uh, very easy. You just go to, um, with your flex pendant, uh, you go in the flex pendant and then you go to system information and here on system properties and control module, you can see that in options, I have the base, English module, and then I have PC interface, which is the bare minimum you need to use Machina. And then I have the multitasking option. Very likely you have a lot more stuff. 
you just have to check if this is an option. And if you don't have it, well, you can still use Machina in on, a, on a basic way. But if you want to do fancy stuff, then just give ABB a call and see if you can get this option. All right? OK, so going back to generating the task, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another task, and I'm going to load the monitor program into that task. OK, how do I do that? Uh, I'm going to go here on the Flex Pendant. I'm going to go to Control Panel. And in Configuration, um, it's going to tell me that the robot is on automatic mode and I can't change things. That is true on the virtual mo one. On your physical one, very likely you are in manual mode, so you wouldn't have this problem. I'm just going to disable automatic mode on my virtual robot by just clicking here at the Control Panel, getting this virtual key for the robot, and then just deactivating automatic and bringing this back to manual. All right? OK, so now I can go to System Parameters. And there's a lot of things here, all right? Um, if I remember correctly, what I need to do is I need to go to Controller, all right? And in Topics, go to Controller, and then go to Task. And here you can see all the tasks that are, that are currently in your robot, all right? What I can do is I can add a new one. And I'm, I want to customize the properties of this task that I'm creating, all right? So I'm going to double click here, and the name is going to be the same name as the main task. So T underscore rope one. And then I'm going to add an, another underscore and type mon for monitor, all right? The actual name doesn't really matter. You can call it foo bar bass. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's just for the sake of consistency, all right? The task in the foreground is going to be the main task of the robot, T rope one, all right? The type is going to be normal and then <clears throat> the mechanical unit group that we're going to be using is not on a drop down so may, perhaps we don't really need it i forget about this let's just try it this way okay so it's going to prompt you for restarting the whole thing so you can just do it and then restart the robot the configuration will apply all right and then at some point all right, I think I just restarted, so I'm going to pull up my uh, flex pendant again. All right. The update, etc. All right, this is a good sign. You can see that I still have my T rope task, my original, with the driver program, but now I have another task that I can click on, which is the monitor, which right now is empty. Okay, so what I can do is I can load the monitor program on that parallel task, all right? And then as soon as I bring all the program pointers to the main, so I make, I take all the programs and I bring them to the very start position and I hit run, then I get all these messages here. Machina driver is initializing. Machina, the monitor task is initializing. Machina driver is waiting. Machina monitor is also waiting for a connection. This is very good sign, all right? So, how are we going to do that? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm now going to connect to the robot and see if everything goes well. So with these very options, I'm going to hit connect. And then here, Machina driver is listening, is streaming real-time poses. This is also really good, OK? So what does this mean? I can move the robot in minus 200, for example. And But if I click on debug, you can see that I'm going to get a lot of messages. And those messages contain real-time information of the motion of the robot in between targets. So you can see how the XY, the XY are maintaining the same. But you see how Z is slowly decreasing in value as the robot is going down. All right? This is great if you're hooking up uh, Machina to some kind of visualizer where you want to know where the robot is. So you can fetch this data and turn it into the position of your robot in your real-time uh, visualization. Or if you want to create a program that does something like, oh, whenever the robot passes through this area, do something, grip, let go, et cetera, et cetera. All right? Uh, all right, I think that's pretty much it. Remember, it's really good practice to disconnect before you stop doing things. So I'm just going to click here, disconnect, all right? And then everything disconnected, that sounds good. and if I go back to production window, I can still see that the two programs are listening because I can connect again and then boop, 
start streaming actions around same way it's going to go up and now you can see that the coordinates are changing here everything is everything is working all right awesome thank you